Hi, this is Chong. Let us look into designing a Team Scenario with SimPad Plus and Scenario Trial with SimPad Plus and Patient Monitor. Please note that my video are not replacement of Mannequin User Guide. This video are to share what I know and how I apply these devices into healthcare simulation training. Let's get into the SimPad Plus. This is SimPad Plus with manual mode and the team of Healthy is running. Do allow me to demonstrate how you can program a four states ventricle tachycardic ventricle fibrillations or VTVF scenario. To begin with, let's create a new stage with a different ECG rhythm. Touch the ECG rhythm on the parameters window for more ECG options. And I choose VT rhythm from the commonly used ECG choices. Instead of click activate, a new team stage is created as I click the create new stage on the left. Please note that in the manual mode main page, the commands of new stage can be found at the top of left column. Next, change each and necessary parameters and ensure each change is end with update new state. Simulation training is not a one man's efforts. The written scenario is a communication tool between members of simulation execution team. Written scenario give rise to a customized simulation trainings and programming of scenario. Program scenario minimize human error in simulators operations, increase functional facilities of the mannequins and parameters. Most important of all, returns and program scenario remind all members of the simulation execution teams the training objective regardless of the simulation progress. Once the parameters are ready for new stage, trigger manual above to add new stage to team and the given title of this stage is VT. Activate the new VT stage to verify if the main parameters page change has per previously programmed commands. Subsequently, repeat the progress to create third stage. Third stage VF is a pulseless state. The blood pressure and saturation should turn flat, but to minimize the influence of the SIMPAD system, manual commands are set here to ensure a pulseless stage set in immediately. As mentioned earlier, the left top column contains the parameters commands for the new stage. Do verify these parameters at these preview corners frequently. The technical capability of SIMPAD Plus to mimic hemodynamic response isn't straightforward. Applying human physiology is a key in achieving uh, fidelities in simulation training. If you have the interest to enhance your future uh, simulation uh, training fidelities, the videos of uh, Imitate physiological parameter oscillations with design team scenario, cushion reflex, can provide uh, a helpful concept. I'll leave the link at the end of this video. At last, the RSC stage reveal ECG with arrhythmia and circulatory status. The apnea settings here is to encourage learners to initiate post resuscitation care.
after rearrange the state sequence, the team will be saved with title of VTVM. Give it a quick simpact trial to exclude programming error. Next, connect lib patient monitors to SIMPAD to verify the new team executions uh, with patient monitor. SIMPAD plus with manual modes on the right and lib home page on the left. To test SIMPAD with patient monitor, both devices need to be connected. In this case, wireless SIM link at hot network. Ensure that appropriate mannequins is selected in SIMPAD Plus. Um, in here will be ALS Simulator. Launch the newly programmed team scenario VTVF. Meanwhile, in LIPS homepage, click Network Selector. Select SIMLINK at HOT Network. Click OK and connect to the ad hoc network sim link to complete the network selections. In SIMPAC, VTVF is selected while in LIPS homepage, choose the defibrillator monitor and click Patients Simulator LS Simulator. Touch the on off buttons and give the defibrillator monitor a quick test. Activate different parameters lines and adjust accordingly. Do note that individual parameters on and off can be done via SIM pad as well. The VTVF state 1 is all normal, appear has been expected, so VT state is triggered. Upon verifying that the VT state is good, we stress the team with random parameter adjustment as the scenario is running, followed by trial of 
VF and RSC states. The act of random non-invasive blood pressure activation is a mean to stress the stability of the newly programmed scenario and can create the audio fertilities for the learner. Moreover, the activations of VF then RSE is to stress if the team state can be activated randomly. From the defibrillator monitor perspective, the switch of AED and manual defibrillation is also a step to ensure team scenario is operational for the simulation training. Alright, that's all for now. I hope that you like this video. See you soon. Bye bye.